Hi guys, this is Tiger Fairy Sims, and I am here with a speed build for my Seasons Let's Play that is probably going to be coming out later today. This is my second time trying to make this audio um, because I had sped up the video eight times and it was down to like 34 minutes, but originally it was like 50 something minutes, and the audio actually came out 51 minutes long. So. And then it was like chopped up and it was making the video lag uh, so he, then I tried to cut down the actual video so this video that you guys are seeing now is choppy and chopped up and <laughs> all of that because I have only had two hours of sleep last night today whatever and I'm getting tired and I want to actually build you know my sims and get into the let's play and everything so this house is a house that I grew up next door to uh, in real life. Um, I was coming back from my physical therapy appointment on uh, Wednesday and I saw it by my old house and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be such a great house to build in The Sims 4 seasons when it comes out. Um, so I don't know what the style is. Um, the p Where I live, uh, the p like, the, it's a, it's it's the U kind of shaped, the road is, and uh, it used to be plantation fields and, you know, estates and stuff like that. <clears throat> so a lot of the older houses are kind of like Victorian looking and stuff like that. But this house was actually built uh, more recently, I want to say maybe in the last 15 something years, something like that. Um, but it did keep with the, you know, like time aspect of the other houses uh, around it and everything like that um, but yeah so um, uh, this is also I think let's see this was my second time building the house as well uh, I just remembered that yeah, I started recording and my video recorder OBS was lagging so the recording was horrible and then I tried to do like the uh, undo like the way that you can record it with the undo button and stuff and then I moved something and all of my hard work about 30 something minutes of it had went out the drain so I had to build the house again <laughs> um, right here I am picking stairs uh, I go through a couple different um, different ones trying to find the right wood that I want to to have in the house uh, a lot of these old houses that uh, are around all of the woodworking, um, all the woodwork, you know, uh, the crown royal or the crown royal, the <laughs> the, cr the crown molding, um, and, and you know, door frames and stuff like that. They're all the same wood, so that's why I was trying to pick that, uh, pick out a specific wood, um, <clears throat> and the the roof right there. Ugh. I cut out most of the editing of it. Uh, I don't actually think I cut out this part of the editing, but later on when I'm trying to go up there and paint the b the bedroom that's up there, I do cut out a lot of the editing right there. Um, I don't know. I just couldn't get it to, to work and stuff. So it was annoying and everything like that. Um, but yeah, basically this house is going to be four bedrooms, um, four baths, and... Uh, it's just gonna have a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, a study, and then a backyard. <laughs> um, there is gonna be, and uh, in, in the back of this house in real life, there is a garage. Well, we don't have cars in the Sims 4, so instead of leaving that out of the build completely, I just turned it into a glass, uh, kind of a glass sunroom. It's not a it's not a greenhouse at all. Uh, there are no plants in it whatsoever. There does have the uh, um, the flower arranging bench desk whatever thing in there, but um, it does have other things as well. So it is not a greenhouse at all. Um, <coughs> right now, I'm just fixing the layout upstairs. I couldn't figure out why <laughs> uh, why I couldn't like get rid of the the flooring and stuff on just the one side. I was like, he's taking everything away. Um, but yeah, so right here I am matching, trying to match the the wood to the stairs. <laughs> um, 
like the doors and stuff like that. I think I get pretty close. It, it is, you know, a little bit different. Um, but I, I, I actually end up liking the house. Um, I didn't want to put too much uh, clutter in this house because the second that I loaded up the game after installing Seasons and Spooky Pack, um, or spooky stuff, I guess, because uh, I did want to have the Halloween, you know, costumes and the, the option to throw a Halloween party. I mean, a costume party. It's totally a costume party or a spooky party or something like that. But, um, yeah, so uh, I didn't have, basically the gameplay is going to be vanilla. Uh, I do have, like, Maxis Match custom content, uh, skins, eyebrows, um, eyelashes, um basically like a couple of eyeliners, a couple of lipsticks. Um, there's no custom content hair. There's no custom content clothes. Uh, I mean, you will see one dress. It is Cinderella's dress from uh, the 2015 live action one that's just always going to be in my Sims uh, in, in my Sims cast. <laughs> it's just always going to be there. So I don't lose it ever. It's, the, that's, oh, it's so amazing. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, so basically we're going to be playing kind of vanilla. Um, that way that my game will actually play. Uh, I did start using a lot of mods. Um, like the, the more social events, the, the more away options, like uh, stuff like that. Um, <coughs> and my mouse stopped working and like I had to click five different times on a sim to, for it to switch to that sim. Um, cl and clicking on the ground anywhere took, you know, like 30 seconds for it to actually pop up a menu or, you know, it was just, it was just lagging up my game too much. So we're not going to be playing with with any um, mods um, basically everything that I have in my game is cosmetic and that's it um, right now we're just going around putting the windows out uh, <coughs> trying to get some extra light in there um, and then I think I do use a lot of the Sims 4 seasons content um, I, did, I do actually really really like it Sims, uh, the seasons XP or expansion pack is has always been one of my favorites. Um, the aspect of rain and snow and and leaves falling and you know stuff like that has always been a big big draw for me. Um, and I, I've watched a lot of uh, <coughs> excuse me. I've watched a lot of the uh, uh, pre-releases that like people have gotten from EA I've watched some of the, I've watched a lot of their um let's plays that they've started to be put started to put out and then I last watched a <laughs> sorry like I said this is my second go at this so I'm like trying to remember everything that I talked about the first time around and it was yeah I'm, I'm doing my best I do apologize though I was just gonna keep the other audio and just be like have it all mumble jumbled everywhere not matching up with the video at all but it ended up being 50 something minutes so um but yeah so I watched uh, a lot of videos from the EA play that people got to play f uh, the sim the seasons you know there as well and it's uh, like the the game pack the the gameplay looks amazing and I can't wait to get into it. Um, but right now I am doing the mud room at the back of the house. Uh, this is basically where the laundry is gonna go. Um, like and 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 um, <coughs> it it has a it has a couch and everything. Um, and then at the front of the house, I don't, I think I took it out, but, um, at the front of the house, we do have the, um, umbrella stand because we will be starting in summer. Now, everybody's started in spring or fall or winter, and I want to start in summer because I haven't even told you guys about the characters, the Sims from, that are going to be in this, living in this house and stuff like that. So, the main character is a teenager and her name is Tosetsu Koga and um, Tosetsu is Japanese and I'm pretty sure that it means snow in winter um, that or it's like 
blizzard snow or something like that one of the two um but it is a winter name because winter is my favorite season um and she has two younger sisters one's a child and one's a toddler then she has a mother and a father um and there is a teenage boy living in the house with them that he moved in um the first year of high school and they are in their senior year of high school and in america um that's four years but in japan it's three years of high school so he's been with them for about two years now because they are seniors um i guess it would be sophomores in japan yeah because you start out in 10th grade 10th grade is high school for them um but i don't know if i'm actually going to make them of asian descent or i'm just gonna have <laughs> her name be <laughs> japanese because I, I don't know her nickname is going to be setsu so if i you know her name is going to be to setsu but if i just call her setsu then it's just her nickname and everything um but yeah no he moved in and i don't know if what the backstory is on why he moved in yet i don't know if i want to have his parents die in a car crash or like they just die mysteriously you know maybe put a little bit of drama into the let's play that way um but something happens and he moves in with them and um her tosetsu's father is going to be i'm pretty sure i'm going to put him in the business career um and you know like we'll see like he like uh the boy's parents are co-workers or something like that i don't know i don't know i haven't decided yet um but uh so basically like she wants to move out of the house she's in the last year of high school um she wants to move out of the house start her own family tradition start her own family um because like before the boy showed up before the teenage boy showed up she was the one that had to do everything like her parents were always busy her mother was always touring being you know uh, a botanist and a flower ranger and all of that kind of stuff and her dad was a is a workaholic you know so like she had to take care of her little sister and then when her little her other little sister came into the world she had to take care of her as well you know and she be, she didn't have any time for her and so like she wants to get out of the house and she wants to make new traditions and like i'm hoping that i can have her like i can pick and choose which like traditions she likes and stuff so that like because i'm pretty sure that's like one or two maybe if you do all five i'm pretty sure it's like one or two that she'll like ignore or something and but and then she'll like like three of them or something like that but or love three of them but i'm hoping that i can actually pick and choose um which one she doesn't like so that like I can change them when she becomes a young adult and starts her own family and everything. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have the boy, the teenager in the house living with them, become her love interest or not. I have not decided that yet. But uh, we will definitely be getting her a love interest and everything like that. Um, another thing I did talk about in the other recording of this <laughs> um, is I do not want to build another house. Uh, so instead of just having her age up into a young adult and then just keep living with her family, I might have them like, I might have her mother retire or something and like they move to like Willow Springs or something like that with, you know, the young girls and everything. And, uh, she gets to keep this house. Maybe, I'm, so maybe something like that. Um yeah okay and so uh like i said everybody's starting off in you know like spring and autumn and winter because you know we've had summer for what five years now but i am starting out in summer because i want to have one or two days and then go on summer break like i want to use the holiday create a holiday thing to make summer break and i will be playing on two sim weeks for each season instead of just the one i'm not going to be rushing this let's play um this let's play is also going to be live streamed um so like if i have something if i don't want to edit a video and have it just be you know like 30 minutes or something like that then i am going to live stream on twitch or on actual youtube uh, because I do have that capability now. Um, but, yeah, no, it's not going to be a fast Let's Play or anything like that. Um, 
I do want to take my time, and as long as the game continues to play and work and the freaking wall... I did cut out a lot of picking out these wallpapers and stuff because it literally was half the freaking video after I sped it up. <laughs> uh, the the glitch that they have right now going uh, because of the newest patch where it takes forever for the wallpapers and, and the flooring to show up they need to fix fast because <laughs> I already don't like building in The Sims 4. I I enjoy building in The Sims 3. The Sims 3 I know every nook and cranny um, and like I, I'm 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 pretty freaking fast in The Sims 3. And The Sims 4, it is so very new to me. Um, but I, I, I don't find it as enjoyable as I do The Sims 3. Um, but anyway, so uh, the rooms downstairs, uh, I don't know if you got to see the colors on them. This room right here is the master suite. It will be um, her parents' bedroom. Um, and it's basically kind of just like a loft kind of thing it's, it's their own floor you know because they do have four children downstairs uh but uh the purple bedroom at the front of the house is Tosetsu's bedroom uh the blue bedroom beside that one on the right is going to be the boys bedroom and then uh the bedroom at the back of the house with the crazy colors on the walls is going to be the child and toddler's bedroom oh so this whole time, I thought I had <laughs> Supernatural on my TV muted, and apparently I do not. So if you're hearing Supernatural in the background, please do not copyright me, <laughs> because I am not doing the audio over again. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, so I am picking... Um, the wallpaper in the bedroom. I wanted something like simple and everything like that. All of the bathrooms downstairs have the same tiles, uh, uh the wall tiles. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, and they basically have all of the same layout as well. Uh, they ha have all the same items and everything is just different colors. Uh, I used all. Uh, all of the items from the new pack except for the toilets because I did want the option to uh, have to unclog the toilet. Uh, the flooring here that you're seeing me put down is custom content. Um, I just absolutely love the real aspect of the wood and everything so uh, there will be a few of them in the house and they're all mismatched. They all go the same like well, except for that one. That one goes sideways, but uh, most of the all of the wood goes the same way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, and, but you know, it is it has so many different types of wood, colors of wood, and everything like that in it. Um, <coughs> so I am just gonna check real quick. We're at 18 minutes on my recorder and 18 minutes on the video yay <laughs> uh, I don't know like I don't know the last couple of times that I've actually recorded uh, OBS has been lagging and dropping frames and stuff like it's not even my game it is actually OBS like that is doing it um, and then <laughs> the three times that I've actually tried to record build and record the audio for this this house build uh, it's it's just streaming is just so much easier <laughs> like <laughs> all you gotta do is you just gotta type up the title click start streaming hook up your headphones and then go <laughs> like and I don't have a, a webcam so or a face cam whatever you want to call it so I wouldn't be using um you know like the the video overlay of, of that on there so I don't have to set that up either mm. But, uh, yes, so, right now I'm doing the flooring in the girls' room. Um, I figured I would have, like, one of the girls be pink, and then the other one be purple and blues. Um, because Tresetsu is purples, um, and then the boy's gonna be blues. Um, 
And now, uh, that's not saying, like, I am I know about any of their traits in or anything like that right now, because I don't. Um, I haven't actually come up with their appearance yet. Uh, I don't know what their traits are going to be or anything like that. Uh, basically, once I know, once I actually start building them in CAS, then their, their personalities will start coming through as I complete, you know, as I finish them up and everything like that. But, uh, we're upstairs right now, and, uh, I absolutely love the Spa Day flooring and the Spa Day, uh, wallpapers. Oh, they are absolutely amazing. Mm, excuse me, just getting a little bit of water. Um... Here I wanted to have a little bit of a divide between the wallpaper and the stones, um, but the but the uh, the posts they look really really gray. Yeah, see here I cut out the actual building of the study, um, but I did use the new content from uh, Seasons for that. And here I'm putting the thermostat on the wall. Oh, yay! And I do put a box downstairs, a decorating box. Um, and then here I am doing the, uh, the mud room. Or I was doing the mud room. I totally cut all of that out. And here is the last bathroom on the, on downstairs. Uh, as you can see, I do use all of the new stuff from Seasons. And then one of the crappy toilets. <laughs> um... Yep, um, I did want to use the get-together, um, closets, so as you can see, I do have those in there. Um, let's see, and that's the girls' room, and then here's the boys' room. I w thought about putting this light in, but I did not ha like how it made the flooring, like, look. It looked like it just had lines going across it, um... And I also have forgotten to mute <laughs> the TV again. <laughs> mute. Okay, there we go. And it is officially muted now. Um, right now, we are trying to find something to put on the dining room table. As I said, we are in summer, so I'm trying to keep everything like like summer colors and you know not, and like I'm not trying to go to spring and stuff because you know my favorite colors are purple blue greens like those those are my go-to's whites <laughs> so those are all spring colors um and then right here we're gonna jump ahead on the kitchen uh and this yeah that was my game lagging right there see so jump ahead on the kitchen I do put a lot of parenthood stuff out um I do use the plates and everything, and th like there's only three of them because Trisetsu created two of them, and then her younger sister, the child uh, sister, created one um, because the toddler isn't old enough to do one yet. Um, and the boy, the boy teenager, uh, you know, he he was already a teenager when he came to live with them so um right here i do put in uh, just a dining room table or like a split dining room table um put some chairs in then i put a dog food bowl and uh i left this in huh i thought i cut this out oh well i, thought I was describing it to you because i thought i cut it out cut it 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 out um Mm, I do have custom content for dogs, uh, and I do have custom content eyes for dogs as well. Uh, but anyway, so we are and we are on Tosetsu's room now. Um, oh no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If that's right, I forgot that I tried to start her bedroom, and I couldn't decide on what bed I liked. So I decided that I was going to actually do the girls' bedroom first. So you get to see a little bit of me doing it, and then it'll jump forward again. So, bam. Yeah, and see, like, I just scroll back over here. So there you go. There is their bedroom. Uh, and I have no idea what their names are yet, so, or anything like that. And we're going to jump forward here as well. But uh, his room is blue-based and everything. So uh, he does have, I don't think you actually see it, but he does have a gaming, uh, he has a TV and a gaming console in there um, as well. 
Um, because I'm assuming, you know, like, it's, he's a teenage boy, he loves video games, every boy loves video games. I mean, not really. I mean, it's, uh, more people, some, some kids will actually like to have, uh, you know, be sports, do sports and stuff like that. Um, I do try to put a dog bed in each of the bedrooms. Um, and as you can tell, I am trying my hardest to find matching colors and matching, uh, you know, furniture, like, woods and stuff like that, because in my actual room, I do have purple walls with black trim and, uh, all black <laughs> furniture, so, and I have white walls, or I have white doors, um, so, like, when it comes to, to organizing a bedroom in the Sims, in Sims 3 or Sims 4, I have to have them coordinated so I did cut out a lot of building this bathroom um, this is the upstairs bathroom and you will see it in a span in, in or in a span <laughs> in a second uh, the actual bedroom for the upstairs and everything I put another fireplace up there and all of that I do have a vanity in there and then the uh, contraption like tent thing at the front at the front of the bed is actually a dog bed um i thought it was just really cute and everything like that so there is the f top bed or the top bed the top bedroom um and i think now we are gonna get on to uh, uh, yes we're gonna start outdoor we're gonna start the outdoors uh, Okay, so right there I was actually watching Supernatural, <laughs> and uh, I totally forgot I was recording. <laughs> so I just basically made um, a square, a triangle, and every, or not triangle, a rectangle, and the actual house does have that specific roof, not the glass roof, but that roof on it, um, and then the rest of the house has the roofs that you've seen already on there. Um, but I decided that I was just going to put gla uh, you know, glass windows all the way around and uh, just make it into a really big sunroom where there, there are like extra activities can be uh, so they don't get rained on during spring and summer and you know during fall you know they don't freeze to death and during winter they don't freeze to death. <laughs> Um, yeah, I totally, like, for, keep forgetting that the doors actually go to different heights, but see, th what I wanted was, uh, or no, 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 that's not right, that's not right. Yeah, uh, I don't know why, but since I removed the flooring, like, it did this weird thing where it went outside of the room, and I'm like, what is going on in here? And then I tried to get rid of those, and it wouldn't get rid of them. So I had to go around and delete them individually. <laughs> uh, it was just one thing after another, man. So about this time, um, I I I had I had started getting sleepy. Um, so like the room is is nothing grand. Um, I do put a couple of wind chimes in it. I do put a sauna in it. I do put the flower arranging desk uh, or bench or whatever in it. Um, I do do the do 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 um I do use the woodworking table as well the easel um so there's a lot of things in there and I do put a thermostat in there as well there's a lot of things in there that I do add in and everything but uh basically the back yeah oh my goodness oh, oh sorry okay so basically the backyard um it is kind of bland. It has a pool. It has a hot tub. It has, you know, uh, doll houses and stuff like that for the children. Um, I do not, I forgot to put a swing out and I forgot to put mirrors in the bathrooms, um, except for the upstairs bathroom. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, so I do do the, I do add the parenthood, uh, curfew board. Um, yeah, and I'm, Oh, we have we have several more minutes left actually um but right now I'm putting it in the sauna and I just I just thought it would be a cool idea to uh add in a sauna where like say they they have the thermostat going during winter so it's like on hot well then they start overheating and then they get into the sauna and then like they like 
double die of heat stroke and stuff. <laughs> you know, I just thought that would be kind of fun. Um, I do put some exercise equipment out here as well. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it for the... Um, oh my goodness gracious, I'm so sorry for the yawns. I think that's it for the little sunroom in the back. Um, let's see. Yep, and so... <coughs> I do have the kiddie pool out there. I do have the, the water balloon buckets and everything like that. Um, yes, this pool is fun. I do not know actually what the pool looks like in the backyard of the original house nor do I know what the layout of the original house is so this is all just my imagination um, you know creating stuff uh, but I did want to have a pool um, I did want to have you know like the the, the polar bear plunge uh, tradition thing or event thing going on in winter Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. <laughs> so, um, the fence that they have around the backyard is actually the solid white fence that's like made of plastic or something. And it's like super duper expensive. Um, but yeah, uh, there's not that in The Sims 3 or The Sims 4. So, I just picked the one that you could see through. And uh, here we're going to go in and put flooring back in. But I did not want it all over the whole place. Um, and as you can see, I did not do anything that had to do with cats and dogs in the backyard. I didn't even get out uh, a toy box. <laughs> and I did that on purpose. Oh my gosh. Um, mm. But this right here is actually where the garden is going to go. Um, it is small right now, but like I figured I could expand on it in a you know in a little bit. And I did throw some trees around the back, and I did put in one of the ponds from uh, debug and everything. Um, but you. Do -do -do -do. Do, do, do. Oh yes, the fence. So no, 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 not the fence. Man, yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot what we talked about. But there are this this BB show hidden objects thing would not work for me. I was like, why isn't it not working? Um, well, you know, I got super tired, and so I figured basically we'll just have like all of the stuff that we didn't add into it. Then we can just add it into it while we're going through the let's play and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> we actually do have about not uh, about two minutes left. Yep, two minutes left. All right, so let's see. Um, I put some chairs on that on the fire little fire pit, and I figured you know they could go out there and roast some some uh, some vegetables or some some. Uh, Oh my gosh, fish. <laughs> Jeez, it took me forever to figure out. Um, and I do put the hot tub in there. And I have to edit it a little bit. Um, it does It does start moving around all, all over the place and everything. So, uh, let's see. And I do use some of the new lights here. I couldn't decide what color I wanted. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, I want something spring, but then all the ones that I wanted to pick, or I wanted something summer, but then all the ones that I wanted to pick were spring, and so I just went with the spring ones. Alright, so guys, uh, we are coming up on the last 30-something seconds, last minute, I guess. There is the Scarecrow, there's Patchy, guys. Ugh, I made him pink, so we will have the pink one. But, uh, yeah, no, there are no screenshots, because like I said, I am actually really, really tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I hope you guys liked the speed build and uh i hope you guys like the let's play that is coming up as well um so yeah just stay tuned guys and uh, thank you for watching and have a great day although i think i just totally stole that from like james so we're gonna redo the ending now <laughs> so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and please like and you guys have a great day come back for more episodes of sims 4 seasons Bye!